Hey everyone, it is Sean from Crafted Elements here again. And a lot of people think Crafted Elements is a mold company or a template company or a tool company. But the fact is we are a time-saving company. Whatever it is that we need to bring you as a maker or woodworker to save you time, thus saving you money, saving you hassle, saving you cleanup, whatever it is, we're going to do. So our line of router templates, uh, acrylic router templates that you would use with your router table or handheld router have been a real hit. So much so that we've been having multiple requests over the last month. I mean, maybe it's hunting season or something like that. I don't know. I'm not a hunter. But we've been having a lot of requests for plaque templates. So here are plaque templates. And these plaque templates come in a handful of shapes and sizes, obviously, uh, and identical shapes. You can get a small version. You can get a large version. For example, here is the smaller version of this guy. I think it's 9 by 7 whereas here is a template that is the larger version used to make this particular plaque here. Um, you can use these for awards, you can use them for trophies, you can use them for whatever you want, but I think what most people are using them for, from what I understand, is taxidermy. So if you're wanting to mount uh, antlers or even a deer skull or a whatever, one of the things uh, that a few people had asked for is a Euro deer skull. Apparently this is like a very slender, small deer skull. Um, and this is kind of the most common size. I think this is 14 by seven and a half inch. So that's this guy here, as you can see. Now you can shop at these templates at craftedelements.com, but I wanna actually show you uh, just how easy it is to make these things because it is ridiculously easy. You get your template, you get your router bit. So it's a flush trim router bit here. Uh, and of course a router table and a piece of wood. Now your piece of wood that you could be used uh, could have resin in it. So this is a, you know, a rough uh, piece that we pulled out one of our molds. It's walnut with resin. You can use uh, your templates on this and basically get a plaque or a trophy mount that has resin and wood in it. But I'm gonna keep it simple again. I'm gonna grab another piece of honey locust and I'm going to grab one of our larger templates. I think it's actually a medium size. So right now we've got small and medium. Uh, we may end up introducing more sizes on our website, uh, depending on demand. So it really just kind of depends on what you guys are looking for. And if we need to bring out a larger version than these, we will. But I know these guys are about 12 inches tall. So, uh, and you can see it'll fit there. So what we're going to do is we're going to trace this out. We're going to show you how to cut it, show you how to use the router table, and just how easy it is to produce these things without a CNC, without risking messing it up. Basically to get repeatable, accurate results. Let's go. Okay, so a quick primer on router templates. They are a fairly simple thing to use. This is a template. This is what you're buying and you're using it to make uh, your wood piece or your resin piece, depending on what you're cutting. Now, the gist of it is what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna trace this out. We're gonna rough cut it with our saw. Rough cutting means staying away from that line. The idea is that we're gonna be using our flush trim router bit with our router table to actually, and which, which has a bearing on it, to actually ride across this router, router template and mimic this exact template onto that wood. So the idea is we want a rough cut just so the bearing and the template doesn't have so much material to go through, but otherwise it's really the router, okay, the router table itself that is doing the shaping. All right, so getting started here, I'm just going to arbitrarily choose this. The cool thing is with these clear templates is that you can see what it's going to look like, right? So in, unlike using a piece of wood or MDF, whatever, you can see exactly if there's any voids or if there's any, you know, texture you want to keep. Um, that's kind of the beauty of using uh, clear acrylic. So I'm just going to go ahead and trace that with a pencil. We can use our bandsaw or jigsaw or scroll saw, whatever it is. We just want to stay outside of the line anywhere from one eighth to one quarter inch. We don't want to touch that line. That's the key. This is the rudder bit's job to do the final finishing. So we've rough cut our piece. You can see that you can still see our line the entire way around. That's intentional because we're probably not ever going to be able to get that perfect with a jigsaw or a bandsaw. 
unless you're an absolute pro, which I am not. So that's where the router template comes in. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this acrylic template, which is a quarter inch thick, we're going to glue it to here temporarily. You can use, I use hot glue most of the time because I just find it really easy. Some people use two-sided tape, it's basically taking two-sided tape, putting it down, attaching the template this way. Some people use the CA glue and masking tape method, which is to put some masking tape here, put some masking tape here, put CA glue or super glue in between it, let it set that way. No matter what you do, the key is uh, you want to make sure it's held down sufficiently. You do not want this thing flying off when you're routing, otherwise your piece is going to be wrecked or your template's going to be wrecked. The idea is you want to keep using these over and over. So I've got my little hot glue gun and once I am up to heat, I can just go ahead and throw some hot glue everywhere I can and then put my template down as quickly as possible to make sure it stays. What I like about hot glue is it's really easy to, to just pop off once you're actually done and ready to take the template back off. All right, we'll take this over to our router table. We'll install our flush trim router bit and we'll get going. All right, the key is with these templates that you want to make sure that the bearing on your flush trim router bit rides along the acrylic. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna line up your piece and you're gonna adjust your router so that bearing is on the acrylic and the blade is on uh, the wood. That's what's actually gonna get rid of the rest of that wood uh, to get an identical copy of the template. So once we've got our bearing on, we're good. We're gonna be able to turn this on. A lot of people experience kickback and they ask, hey Sean, why isn't this not working? One thing, run your router at high speed. Second, start at a place where there's not a lot of material. So like there, don't start here, start here, right? You've got a bunch more material to come off here, greater change of kickback. Make sure you've got a super sharp um, uh, router bit and make sure it is like a quarter inch diameter, maybe three eighths, don't use a half inch. I mean, you can use a half inch if you want to, but a, a larger router bit, it's gonna have higher surface area. It's gonna have more tendency to kick back. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this on after I get my glasses because this is definitely something you want to wear glasses for. If there's any point in the shop where you definitely want to wear glasses, it's when using a router that's flinging giant chunks of wood everywhere. Success with our rudder bit. No issues there. I'm just going to grab underneath uh, the template, pry it off, and then just take and scrape the rest of this glue off. All right, so I rarely see these things uh, that are just like with a flat, straight edge. They're only some sort of fancier routed edge. So we're going to go to the router table, uh, rather router bits collection I have, pick out a different uh, bit, and we're going to just go around the perimeter and make it look a little bit more ornate, so to speak. Um, and it's going to be doing it with the same router table that we just used with the flush trim bit. So we're going to go ahead and just switch out to that new bit, and then we'll round this out, sand it up, oil it up, and we'll be done. Pretty cool, right? So the very last step in this process is of course to finish this with either a stain or a sealant or an oil, or whatever you want. Um, this is obviously not a charcuterie board. No one's eating off this. So you have a lot of options. Um, if this was just like pine or plain oak or something, you could actually get like a colored stain and you know actually stain it a color before sealing it up. Um, but it is honey locust, it is a hardwood. So I could really just use like a clear coat, a spray, take this thing outside, set it down, spray it down, seal it up and it'll be good. But I'm gonna take the cheater way out. I'm just gonna use our total wood honey, which we use for pretty much every cutting board we make here. It creates such a cool 
finish and it is ridiculously easy to apply. So I'm just gonna go get some gloves and you can see this bad boy pop once I get my gloves on. Easy peasy. And this stuff we're gonna let sit for 20 or 30 minutes. And then we're gonna come back and just buff it all off with towel or rag. And that's gonna create a decently hard uh, wearing finish, especially for the application where we're not gonna be washing it and like, you know, cutting on it and eating on it. It'll probably last forever looking like this. Voila. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed following along our track template how-to video. It was pretty easy to make this thing, honestly, if I didn't have the camera, it probably would have been 20 minutes from start to finish. And then you've got a, a template you can, uh, rather a wood plaque that you could use or sell. I mean, I don't really have any wildlife around here. I've got squirrels that eat out of our dumpster in the back. I guess I could go shoot one of them and mount them to it, but I'll leave that for you pros. All right, so listen, if you want to get your own crafted elements, plaque, trophy mount, taxidermy, <laughs> router templates, you can do so at craftedelements.com. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes, and we will probably be adding more as time goes on as we refine what people are truly looking for. So if you have a special request for a plaque template or a different size, make sure you comment on this video below. And while we're talking about that, if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button because it helps the algorithm let other makers find our awesome products. And again, craftedelements.com if you're looking to get some of these templates for yourself. Happy making, folks.